right, folks. Captain Taylor here. Welcome back to the channel. Captain Steve Pope with Firefighter Golf. We're going to do a match on the back nine here at Falcon Lakes. I got the new GoPro camera. Have it on the screen while we're driving and uh, also while we're filming. Look, no hands. No hands, Ma. So anyway, uh, Brian played pretty good on the front. What'd you shoot? One over. One over. I think I shot five over maybe, something like that around there. So let's see if I can get it going on the back for this match and make it interesting. So anyway, thanks for watching. Love y'all. And uh, you got anything to say? What are they supposed to do? Subscribe. Like. Well, that's the like. Like. <laughs> and then the so, red. <laughs> yeah. Says, it might be black now. I can't remember. All right. Thanks for watching. Love y'all. Well, oh. ah, that's a good ball. What was your yardage? One thirty five. And you're going with what? Pitching wedge. Got an uphill approach here. That pin's back right. That's a pretty wicked pin position. Can't be afraid of it. Church was on Sunday. Today's Tuesday. Mm -hmm. All right, keep drawing. Nope, I didn't get it. Is the wind getting it, though? Yep, I didn't get it. Oh, Nancy. Archie Bunker. Didn't get it. All right. All right, I have 104 yards up this hill. Let me zoom in a little bit if I can with this camera. Back right there. Learn how to use this thing. So 104 yards, I'm using the 54 degrees. I know, or 54 degrees. Well, that's the temperature. No, it's, it's warmer than that. But anyway, 54 degree wedge. Uh, the wind's helping a little bit, so I'm just going to be happy to be below this pin. Don't spend too much. All he's, right. He's going to be below it, all right. All right, there's Captain Taylor's ball. All right, let's see how you do, brother. It'll be a tough one. Short sided. He's pretty good with a short game. Here's my ball. Uphill putt. So if he puts it close, let's see if I can make it. Nope. All right, advantage me. Oh, <laughs> he said Marvin's showing up. I like it. He chipped one in earlier today for birdie, wasn't it? Yep. Yep. So are you saying that putter is just one of the, the 14 clubs? Yeah, it's just one of the 14. It's a suggestion. It doesn't mean you have to use it. <laughs> Miss Cam. <laughs> He's calling it the Miss Cam. <laughs> well, you're probably right. Let the trash talk begin. Oh, I hit the camera. <laughs> Two stroke penalty for electronics on the course. When that came off the putter face, I thought that baby was in. What'd you think? You knew it was the Miss Cam? Good putt, but I called Miss Cam. <laughs> All right, trash talking's beginning. I'm one down now. One down. I just, you know, on the front night, I just played bad to well, reel you in. No, I had to donate him a hole, so I don't want him to quit by 15. Yeah, it wouldn't make the video very good, so. All right, if you guys haven't watched our video from Wildfire in Phoenix, shout out to Bob Does Sports there because uh, we were little... We had, we had some we had some alcohol on board there and I rarely adult, drink adult beverages partaking in our buddy Joe shout out to you for stick it Joe for buying those bad influence <laughs> but uh, go back and watch that video shout out to Bob does sports so
Folks, we just had a big scare. We thought there was a rattlesnake next to us, but it was a sprinkler. <laughs> uh, all right. That's what you get when you get old guys playing golf. Well, we gotta take the time to move a little faster or sooner, you know? All right, par four, dog leg left here, number 11. Yeah, I've played from there. You're fine. All right, doors back open for you. Let's see what happens. I've got the man club. Yeah, he's making fun of my three wood hybrid, but. Good ball there. Gonna be down the middle, just left of uh, the barber pole. So, good ball. Thank you. So. You got Stealth 2 there, let's see what's in the bag. Stealth 2 with uh, Ventus TR Velocor 6S shaft. All right. Uh, he, uh, Kevin was telling me about it. It's too, it's too heavy, I don't get the ball up with it. I hit these like low. The, the Stealth 3 wood? Yes. Yeah, so because of the shaft? Because of the shaft, it's not the head, it's the shaft. I can't, the shaft's heavier. My other Stealth was a 60 gram shaft. That one's 75 grams. Okay. So I'm not getting it launched. So is there anything you want to say to Kevin right now? Oh, are we recording? Yeah. Is this for Kevin? Um, you better bring your better game than 83, son, because that ain't going to get it done. You might want to consider Division 3, if that's your score. Since somebody was calling me out in a previous video, I don't know, I just heard through Rumorville. So, but I do love you. Just keep practicing. Hey, my ball is over there near the snakes. <laughs> So let's get over there. So talk about the the darn sprinkler up there scaring us. Now we're over here. Well, where you got me distracted really trash talking another one of my buddies. Well, I did, but I'm just over this hump here. So all right, there's my lie. Not very good there. The sun went behind them clouds. I'm gonna put my fucking sleeves back on. Well, you can put your quarter zip back on, can't you? Yeah, I can do that. It's easier than the sleeves. Okay, I got 122 right here at the cart, but it's probably about 117, I'm gonna say, and it's downwind. But again, that pin, these yardages just haven't been right. One oh five, glad I looked. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been over. Anyway, uh, so we'll call it 102 and it's downwind. It's not a great lie, so I'll use this 54. Have you showed your lie yet? Yeah, I already showed it to him. All right, yeah, the yardage haven't been right on their GPS. They didn't move the pin placements from yesterday, so. All right. Mm, look at that spider behind that ball. I gotta go get this bad boy. Yo! Didn't... All right, I can live with that just in front. I better just put my glasses I say his away. glasses went about half as far as the ball did. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> Mr. Talk. He's he's one down. I like the talk. Motivates us, you know. Front nine, it wasn't motivated for anything. All right, what do you got? All right, I got 105. Got a gap wedge. Which is what degree? 50. 50? 50. It's going to be a little easy one. All right, my, my ball is just in front of the green. I can probably chip or putt that, so. Hit a good one. Well, you're going to have to chip it when I hold this. Oh, oh been to win, baby. Is that where you did in that tournament, senior tournament out here? Yes. But you were in that house up there, weren't you? Helping yeah. them construct it? God dang, Brian. All right, brother. We've, we've talked about this on the channel before, but Brian, you just made mention of it. What, for you, for you, when the camera's on, it's a different feeling, but how many strokes do you think it adds to you? 10 pounds and five strokes. Yeah, I agree. It adds some strokes, definitely, because you're worried about waiting. You're, luckily there's just two of us today so there's we got a pretty good rhythm but you know that's I'm oh, gonna we, use the camera as my excuse for that thin bladed shitty little wedge uh, you'll hold this out or something on me and I'll chunk my chip shot or something <laughs> All right, here's where Brian ended up with his blade all right he's got an uphill putt Maybe. Don't roll off. So yeah, just out, out of that rough, you know. 
Got to try to gauge that, throw a little higher, but you know, that's golf. No, you gave yourself a chance I'm now. I'm giving myself a putt. Alright, do I putt or do I chip? Ryan would chip. I would definitely chip. Oh, that's not a gimme. Out here we have very raised up Bermuda collars, so they like to grab balls, so chipping is usually the play but sometimes you can it's you can get your putter you can put them in texas wedge you just have a hard time how much grab that fringe is going to get it putt for par for brian look at this guy oh i thought it was coming back right no it wobbled it wobbled on you all right it's ball still, was in the hole here all right it's still going might hit that poana right there Thought I made it on him, folks. I thought you did too. Fucking sandbagger. So what'd you say there on the video after I made that putt? Sandbagging? Yeah, he's fucking sandbagging me. Shoots a four or five over on the front, get me reeled in, and then. Well, we just wanted to test what this GoPro would look like if we use this to film plus in the cart talk uh so brian you've you're 53 53 been on the kansas city kansas fire department how long 28 years 28 years uh favorite golfer in the history of your life oh in my life by far tiger woods we only see half your face in there oh yeah by far tiger woods tiger woods all right tiger and jack favorite golf courses you've played golf courses course um, it would have to be Bandon Dunes. It kind of grew on me after I left. And what? Well, Paci and which one is your favorite there? Pacific Dunes Pacific is my Dunes. favorite with Bandon Trail, a close second, and then Bandon Dunes third. Yeah, I, but Pacific Dunes is definitely my favorite. You can't beat that place, and we're excited that Rodeo Dunes in Colorado from Kaiser's group is going to be opening in a couple years. So Closer to home. Closer to home, about eight hour drive. So, all right. That's usually how it works, isn't it? The best tee ball usually doesn't win the hole. No, not always. I got a good break. So. I, as I said, I'm just letting you feel good. <laughs> there's, seven, there's, there's seven more holes. Yeah. I'm, so. Hey, see if you can see this in front of the camera. See the fishing pole that's reaching out there right now? Okay. Reeling, reeling him in. All right. Let's hope I, I got to start it. playing, though. Cause see see he's found do. a little something on this side. Oh, that door right. may have swung right back open. That door probably did swing open. I didn't. Oh, yeah. That's... I think it's in play, though. It's just on the other side of that hill. That's my hope. We'll see. <laughs> Time to capitalize. That is, because either way, if it's in play, I'm blocked by that tree. Good ball. Better than my ball, we'll say. It, draw. it did not, but it's better than mine. Yep, firefighter golf. I'm in the weeds, but it's clear of that tree a little bit. We'll see what okay. I can do. There used to be a cheer back in the old sports days Here for when you were it. playing sports. I can't hold it and do the cheer. Oh, well. Because it was U G L Y. <laughs> That's ugly, and he ain't got no alibi. All right, I'm just trying to get this six iron out there close to the green as I can. 188. Oh Came my, hot, come out hot. It that did. might. I like that. I don't. He doesn't, but. Good swing, out, especially out of that. Thanks. All right, he's got, we've got these guys behind us. We might ask them to join us if they don't mind the camera. Uh, but other than that, they're not up at the tee box yet, so 
All right, Brian's in a good spot. I might just be left of the green. We wanted to do that angle, do some different angles with our filming instead of just the boring stuff right behind the ball all the time. I know everyone likes to see the shot tracers, but sometimes when you're filming, and especially when I don't have the tripod to hold this GoPro that uh, you can't do those shots all the time. All right, what's your yardage? 160. Got eight iron. That's what I was gonna guess. I was, Wanna stay below it. I was gonna caddy for him. In the you suck open, I was gonna caddy for him. <laughs> we are leading it. Yes. Oh yeah, that's right at the pin. Right at it. Good shot. He's got a good, gonna have a good look at birdie there. Good job. Need one back. Oh yeah, we haven't, I think they figured it out, but yeah, yeah we haven't I'm talked about down. it. He's two down. I gotta, gotta step up here. All right, there's Steve out in front of the green. Excellent job of getting it back in play. He got it to the front of the green. Now he's got a little chip shot, a little 25 yard chip shot. Yep, there's that front fringe I was telling about. I needed to get over that. And there I am, probably 15 feet, maybe 13 feet for birdie. And Steve has about the same distance for par. Good pace, good pace, wiggle in there. Yes, sir! I don't need to putt, except for my par, but I won't put it on film. So that will save the battery. <laughs> Good job. Good, thank you. He's back to one down. One down. Go pro. Oh shit. Fumble. <laughs> Fumble. <laughs> we'll put that up there maybe. hole today. Yeah, I said it right, Brian. That's a tough word to say. <laughs> say it three times. <laughs> All right, but you got to get it and play off the tee. True. And he is, folks. All right, he just, like he said, he just luring me in. Now I got to come up with a good shot. Yeah, you can do it. Right. You can do it! You can do it! And he comes through. Good ball. Kick left. Oh yeah, he did. It's good. All right, Brian, you got your five wood. Five wood, 221 cover front, 238 flag. All right, what what club is it? Five wood. I know, but stealth. Stealth five wood. Yep. Okay. All right, so we built a little coffee shop between. Uh -oh. Our drives. Pause. Uh oh, Russ is. No, that Rich. Rich coming back to miss a club. Come on, Rich. He's running up there on the green. We gotta wait. Nope, oh, Toey. Little Butterfuco. Yeah. What's Rich doing up there? Is he all right? <laughs> Right up next to the green, so it'll be handy. 202 front edge, so I have a 22 degree hybrid. Pins all the way in the back of this green. Looking good. Oh, he's got an eagle putt, folks. Show off. Hey, okay, someone's got to do it. But you're still in a good position to get up and down for the birdie, so just make a good pitch shot. 
Oh, well, yeah. Ifs and what's. If your aunt had nuts, she'd be your uncle. Well, not in today's, not today's society. <laughs> yeah, That's what, true. What, what is going on? We love all we love all our fans, right? Correct. Correct. <laughs> all right, you're in a good spot. All right, he's got a decent lie. Not bad. Down a little bit. It's all right. You can handle it. Nope. He didn't get it. But knowing him, he'll probably make a long birdie bomb on me. All right, so there's what he's got and my balls right there for the eagle. All right, folks, we're going to call this the putting chase cam. Look at him. Look at him. going to drain it on me. Oh! He had it right in it. Oh, man. Good effort. Ooh. Oh, there's meat on that bone, folks. No. A lot of meat. He gave himself about a nice little five footer for birdie. Good birdie. Back to two down. All right. Back to two down. Hole 14. Four man's drone, raising it up. All right. One of the toughest holes here at Falcon Lakes. Yeah, just for me, it's just the expanse. It's, you just feel like you can bomb this thing. The and drive I, is not the, part, the hard part. The hard part is the way the green sits and cambers to the fairway. It's a very difficult approach. And then now they have the front right bunker. Uphill too, so usually downwind, like today. That won't be in a bad spot. I hit it pretty good, so I'll be 150 out. I'll take the miss. Thank God I'm two up. <laughs> Good ball there, Bri. Right towards the barber pole, a little left of it. All right, good shot. So the good thing about holding the GoPro is, and it's a stabilizer in it, is we can walk and talk. Right, and you're so not going like this. It's not bouncing. So what's the segment we can call these now? Walkie talkie? No, that's kind of. That's kind of stupid. I don't know, stupid's us, so that's kind of good. Yeah, so. <laughs> Walkie talkie. <laughs> All right, so Brian. So now what are we? Drivey. Drivey. Drip. I don't know, something stupid like that. No, we gotta think. We need the younger guys to come think of this. Well, I'll ask yeah, my high school. Comment. I'll ask my high school kids today at practice too right. what they yeah, think. Yeah, they'll come up with something cool for sure. We're just old guys out of touch. So yeah, I did. We just double checked the scores. We're keeping the score on the uh, on the GPS system that Falcon Lakes has out here. If you're ever in Kansas City, check them out. They've been a big supporter of the foundation and what this channel is trying to do. Uh, anyway, Brian is only two over on the day, and I am now still five over. So I shot 41 in the front, I bogeyed, and now I birdied. So, all right, good ball by you there. Yeah, it's one of my better drives today. Lie. Lie's pretty good, it's pretty clean for the rough. Not bad for the rough not being grown in yet completely. Another month or so out here, that won't be so fun a lie. 158 up this hill, but it's downwind, so it's probably gonna even it out. I'm gonna go up the nine iron just to cover the front edge, and maybe I'll catch a flyer out of this. I think you should go seven if I was caddying you. All right, well, if you were caddying and playing against me, yes. same time. Yes. All right, here we go. Get 
He's coming to play on this side, folks. Just a little short. I like that spot. He's digging. Plains I mean, Valley. That's got to be one of your favorite courses, too. It's it's in the top five, for sure. Down in Branson. Tigers course. Yep. I'm in between clubs here. The new swing, I'm getting a little more yardage. But when you add, try to swing hard, you add spin. Yeah, but it's downwind. -ish. If it's downwind, I don't know. only got 110 to cover the front. We're going to go gap wedge. All right. Maybe I can thin another one like I did on 11. Draw him back in there. Get up. Okay, got on. It got on. Not no, bad. I don't think it did. Maybe on the front at least. We'll see. He's going with the Texas wedge again, folks. Oh, he drained it on me. Oh, oh it went the other way. It went the other way. All right, is that good? That's good. All right. All right, Brian's going with his Texas wedge as well. Curl in. Much. All right, he gave me mine. I'll give him him. All right, folks, so this GoPro camera, it's our experiment with it. First time filming with it. Uh, I thought... You know, I have it at 4K settings, so it's eating the, the battery pretty good. So there's not going to be as much cart talk anymore or this talk walking off the green. So anyway, two up going into hole 15, which would be hole number, uh, what? Six. Six on this backside for our match. All right, we got 177, wind's kind of blowing just straight across, so I got a 7 iron. Marvin Chapinski is going to show up. Ooh, it nestled down in that rough, too. These are the longest irons you'll ever play. So, there's a new store here in Kansas City, and I'm going to be going to the store. Uh, I've talked to their manager, and I'm going to do another video for the channel. So, you're going to see the Gen 6 being fit for me compared to my Gen 5s and my 0211s that I currently went back to. So, I'm excited to share that with you. Heck of a shot, though. Gives himself a chance. He didn't want to go dormy. Oh! <laughs> oh, I scared him twice now. Who's this guy? This is the guy that owns 16 putters, and he's putting like Arnold Palmer all of a sudden. He's got to make this to not go dormy. Remain two down. Good job. Two down. You put this pin in for me. Holding the camera, you know, you know. <laughs> See, coming through again, folks. So we talked about that earlier. I think I need the camera on me to play good. I don't know what it is. My good looks, my charm, my wit. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> any of those three? Oh, it's probably not any of those, but anyway. Let's see what Captain Taylor can do. Pressure's back on him. I've been my nemesis all recently. With the drive, I should say. 
Hey, not today, folks. That's what he said, not today. Not today. <clears throat> All right, we're waiting on this par five for the green to clear. So we thought with the camera, me moving it to uh, 2K, it's saving the battery a little bit. We were talking about, PXG, we were talking about, so down in Phoenix, first part of the video at Wildfire, you know, Joe bought us some shots, and how many beers did you have before the shot? I had two. I had two beers before Joe started his insanity of making us drink shots. So you shot a 47 on that front, and I don't think I shot great, like a 42 or something, and on the back, you shot better, and I shot better. So, comment below that I think the, the drinking loosens the your swing, sphincter. The swing juice. The swing juice, yep. Yeah. All right, all right, so there's something to it. It loosens you up. Uh, if you drink too much, though, then you fall down you fall next about, to your cart and people laugh at you. That's because you hadn't had a shot like that in a while. So it's like, you said you couldn't feel the club. So that's <laughs> that's in part one. Part two. Or my feet or my fingers or. Part two, it's going to be out by the time you probably see this video. Go watch part two because there's more shenanigans in that one. Another shot. But good, it was a good, good time times. with the fellas. So, All right, we got about 200 and I forgot what it said. 205. 205. Sometimes disease. You got a five iron? Five iron. Oh, oh. that's a peach. Get that on camera. We got that on camera, the shot tracer. I'm moving it, so we're not even going right. to put the shot tracer. All right, stuff happened, but it's still in a good spot. All right, I got about 212. Two, like Brian said, you said like 205 or so. Yeah, over. I should have got what you've got. I should have took the hybrid and swung easy and tried to kill a five iron. See, he's clubbing off me, folks. Oh, yeah. Good swing. Hunt it. That's hunting. We'll see when we get up there, but she was hunting. What did you say? I said if I shoot even on this side and get beat, I'm just going to give you a golf clap because I played pretty darn good. Yeah, you just what, one over now on this side? Yeah, I'm one over, but this Two is, over total. I should be able to get birdie from here. Uh-oh, this cart might beep at us. I Mine might have went over, Brian, unless it's in the hole for an albatross. There you are in front. Look at yours trickle. Look at that miss. Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> See, you, you, miss, run you miss and play the runway correctly. But I got mine in the air, so it might be in the bunker. It might not have carried all that way. We'll find out when we get up there. All right, there's Brian's in front like we were talking about in the cart talk. And we're hunting for mine. It's either a little long or it's right there. So I thought I got it too high in the air and the wind's in the face. So anyway, I'll film Brian's first. <laughs> Went right by my head. All right, he, he's got a putt for birdie there. There's Steve on the upslope. That'll help because these greens are firm and fast right now. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. That almost, that seals it. I got to make this. And I got to miss. Yes, sir. <laughs> Very nice. So mine's good now? No, you still got to make that. Oh, you dog. No, good job. That's what I like to see in these matches. All right, I'm still dormy. I'm two down with still two to play. Dormy. So he can't lose. The worst he can do is tie. Hey, this is good for the mission. Keeps people watching it longer. We can talk and have fun. And I know I got close there, an ugly looking face. All right, let's go. So right on cue, you got back to even. Uh, I'm even, side. like I said, I'm gonna probably, sh hopefully shoot even. But I'm one under on this side. All right. So. But, so I just give you a golf clap. Okay, that's what it's about. Sometimes you just tip your hat, right? So the key, in my opinion, is you gotta birdie the par fives and minimize Especially the damage on, this course, on the par threes, because I double bogey the par three on the front. This course, the par fives are gettable on the back. 
if you hit quality drives, both par fives are gettable. So yeah. you should birdie. Right. Especially from the yardages, blue, you know, 525 and only 510. Right. Those are both gettable. The so. par fours here are what test you. I should have hit just an easier eight probably, but I tend to like to swing harder, like Harvey Pinnock's books talk about, he, you know, teaching Tom Kite and Ben Crenshaw. Uh, take the longer or or the club that you're gonna swing harder with. So, all right, let's see what Brian does. Be enough, folks. Don't come back down that slope. Uh oh, uh oh, it stayed up. Yep, it stayed up. It didn't draw it. Can't. Hitting them straight, not drawing them. The dreaded straight ball? Yeah. Steve in the Valley of Sin. Oh. And he hit a scully wag. Good shot. All right, if I don't make my four, then I'll concede this hole to Brian. Good shot, Brian. Oh, I had to make that. All right, so I'm only one up. I'm conceding the hole now. Good par, Brian. I'll give Thank you that putt. He's got to make it for his tournament coming up here on this Sunday, April 30th. So he's going to putt that just for his own score and what did i just talk about folks about uh you got to minimize the damage on the par threes and i just double bogeyed another one today so two bad swings on those holes and then i also shanked or bladed one to the right i think it was more of that than the shank so anyway on the hole 18 i'm still one up can't lose the match so i have high school golf practice after this so if i don't win on 18 then it's just gonna be a tie All right, Brian, with the honors on 18. The honors, Your Honor. Hey, you might be having bunker practice, beach party. We'll see. It's into the wind today, so it looked like it went in it. Oh, he's going to skirt the bunker. Good swing. Thank you. We have a tough little pin position here. Let me try to zoom in with this. If you're left of it, it falls off. So anyway, uh, there's the zoom. You gotta do it with your finger. Brian is in the bunker. I'm in the middle of fairway there. I'm about 104 or so. The front right of that green, maybe. Yep. All right, it's into the wind. A little to the right. I'm. Gonna, I got this. 50 degree. Get down. 
All right, almost pin high. Feel your divots, folks, just like Captain Brian's doing. All right, there's my pin high approach. What the golfing gods will reward you. Yes. So you fix two, right? Yes. Comment below: Does should that help him make a putt? Because he should do what he should do on a green anyway. Fix like four or five, because some people don't. <laughs> I'm gonna fix one right here. Look at this guy. Nice pace. Good putt. Didn't make it though, so the match is pretty much over unless you three jack a lack. Yeah, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, ladies and gentlemen. You can't edit that out. You got this. Knock it in there. Good par. Thank you, sir. Good match. Good match, brother. Fist bumps. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Let's see if Brian makes his par putt. Yeah, he would have. All right, thanks, everyone, for watching. Make comments below if you like the cart talk stuff with the GoPro. And uh, overall, Brian, good fun match. Yep, good backside by you. Uh, not outside my double. Well, I'm not disappointed. I shoot even par and lose. You just, that's when you tip your hat. So. Yeah, I ended up with a 77. We're looking at the scores now, and Brian shot a 73, so good shooting. He has a tournament out here with the Amateur Players Tour, so shout out to Jake. We're running a good tour there, and uh, I support him because he supported the foundation. So anyway, uh, anything else you want to say? No, just keep liking and subscribing. Keep yep. following. Yep, that helps the mission more, grow. More friendly content. Like you said, it keeps eyes on our mission. And, you know, if there's any first responders that want to play on the channel or just want to play golf, contact us. If you're in the Kansas City metro area and you're seeing these, contact us. We'll have you on the channel. We love to have guests on the channel. So. And the foundation picks up your green fee. That's part of our mission. So. If they're first responders. If they're, yes. <laughs> you can't, and you can't play fireman on TV. You can't bring out your son's firefighter badge. Uh-uh. Don't, don't bring your uh, your sticker that you got at a fair or something. From the fire station. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot for watching. Love you all, and if your name is Kevin Steve, stay tuned stay for this. Tuned. All right, Kevin, someone has something to say to you. I heard through a little birdie, somebody was trash talking me last time you were on video. And then I heard for that same little birdie that you shot an 83 yesterday out of here. You better practice up before Sunday, because 83 ain't gonna get it done, son. <laughs> all right, folks. <laughs> Hope you liked a little trash talking to our friend Kevin, who's been on the channel. He's been a supporter of the foundation. Uh, he had a friend who died by suicide, and he reached out because he's played with Brian on the Amateur Players Tour and uh, reached out to us and is supporting what we're trying to do, no matter if it's first responder or someone out there just struggling. Hey, please be self-aware of that that's going through your mind because you can overcome it. You have to want to, for one. Go get help. All right. Love you all. Hey. Take care. And if you need any golf needs in Kansas City, he's also a manager of Edwin Watts Golf. Yeah. So he's, look him up. He'll take care of you. They do a great job with customer service. 100%. He's good with his customers. So, Kevin, thanks for supporting the channel. And everyone else out there, thanks for the support. Love you all.